dark, the great Western engine worked hard in the yard at the big station. Sometimes he pulled coaches. Sometimes he pushed trucks. But whatever the work, Doc got the job done without fuss. One day, Doc was resting in the shed when the Fat Controller arrived. Your work in the yard has been good. Would you like to have a branch line for your own? Oh, yes, please, sir, replied Doc. So Doc took charge of his new branch line. The responsibility delighted him. The line runs along the coast by sandy beaches till it meets a port where big ships come in. Doc enjoyed exploring every curve and corner of the line. Sea breezes swirled his smoke high into the air and his green paint glistened in the sunlight. This is just like being on holiday, he puffed. Well, you know what they say, laughed his driver. A change is as good as a rest. Soon Doc was busier than ever. The Fat Controller was building a new station at the port and Doc pushed the trucks wherever they were needed. Bertie looked after Doc's passengers and the other engines helped too, but the work took a long time. Noise and dust filled the air. Don't worry, whistled Toby. The station's nearly finished. And on time too, said Duck, thankfully. Duck felt his responsibility deeply and talked endlessly about it. You don't understand, Donald, how much the Fat Controller relies on me. Ach, I, muttered Donald sleepily. I'm Great Western and I... Quack, quack, quack. What? Ye heard. Quack, quack, you go. Sounds like you're an egg laid. Now wheesht and let an engine sleep. Quack yourself, said Doc indignantly. Later, he spoke to his driver. Donald says I quack as if I'd laid an egg. Quack, do you, pondered his fireman. He whispered something to Doc and his driver. They were going to play a joke on Donald and pay him back for teasing Doc. The engines were busy for the rest of the day and nothing more was said. Not even a quack. But when at last Donald was asleep, Duck's driver and fireman popped something into his water tank. Next morning, when Donald stopped for water, he found that he had an unexpected passenger aboard. A small white duckling popped out of his water tank. Nay, do who's behind this? laughed Donald. The duckling was tame. She shared the fireman's sandwiches and rolled in the tender. The other engines enjoyed teasing Donald about her. Presently, she grew tired of travelling and hopped off at a station, and there she stayed. That night, Donald's driver and fireman got busy, and in the morning, when Duck's crew arrived, they laughed and laughed. Look, Duck! Look what's under your bunker! It's a nest box with an egg in it! Donald opened a sleepy eye. Will, will, will! You must have laid it in the night, Duck, all unbeknownst. Then Duck laughed too. You win, Donald. It'd take a clever engine to get the better of you. There's a pond near the duckling station. Here she swims and welcomes the trains as they pass by. The station master calls her Dilly. To everyone else, she is always Donald's duck. <laughs>